Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Frazier. A common question that we may have is, why did my horse come back from the track after a breeze with, with tight muscles or muscle cramping? And what could this be and, and what could I potentially do to prevent it? So one of the most common reasons that a horse may come back from the track with those sort of symptoms would be exertional rhabdomyolysis, or more commonly referred to as tying up syndrome. And it's certainly important to remember that all, although we, we think of the classic tying up horse as, as the thoroughbred racehorse that goes out and, and does a work or a breeze and then ties up and, and has those hard muscles, that this can happen in, in any breed and, and in any condition. And we certainly see this in warm bloods and Arabians at endurance rides and show horses and even in, even in pleasure horses. Uh, so, so this is certainly not a disease unique to the, to the racing thoroughbred. There's several causes that can result in a tying up syndrome and one of the most common is, is certainly overexertion. The horse that, that isn't ready perhaps for the level of work that it has. The racehorse that, that breezes and wasn't quite ready for it and just overexerts himself. Um, and again, it can also be the, the pleasure horse that goes out and, and does that trail ride a little bit too long or does that, that cross country gallop a little bit too, uh, too much for, for what that horse was ready for. Some other contributing factors could also be um, diet. We tend to see this more in horses that uh, are fed high grain diets, high carbohydrate loads, as opposed to, uh, to a higher fat diet. Some other contributing factors to why a horse may tie up also include hormonal imbalance. Uh, especially related to female horses, fillies, around their estrus cycle. Tying up in the racehorse does tend to occur more in fillies as opposed to colts, so we certainly think it may be related to hormones and the estrus cycle. Also nervous horses uh, tend to also have increased um, problems with this. Electrolyte imbalances can also lead to tying up. Uh, horses that have excessive sweating, horses, uh, particularly endurance horses, that may go on on a several hour ride and have that ongoing loss of electrolytes through sweat may end up with uh, a tying up episode because of this electrolyte depletion, particularly potassium. Also horses that receive Lasix uh, or furosemide, uh, this drug can potentially decrease the level of potassium in the blood, so this may potentiate a tying up episode also. The way we're going to diagnose exertional rhabdomyolysis or tying up in a horse is, is based on those typical clinical signs, the, the very hard, uh, painful muscles on palpation, and in addition, your veterinarian may pull a chemistry panel or a serum biochemistry panel to look at the excuse me to look at the muscle enzymes on the horse and determine if those are elevated. Specifically, they're going to look at the CK, the AST, and the LDH enzymes to see what those levels are. Treatment of a tying up syndrome is going to depend on the severity of it. Certainly most cases are going to need some pain relief, some analgesics such as banamine to help uh, to get over the painful muscles. Some veterinarians may advocate using methocarbamol, which is a muscle relaxant. More severe cases may actually need IV fluids, potentially some electrolyte correction, especially if that was a contributing factor. All those breakdown products from the muscle damage are going to get filtered through the kidney, so we certainly want to make sure that the horse is, is well hydrated, potentially with IV fluids, to prevent secondary kidney damage from the tying up episode. Ways to prevent tying up include just making sure that the horse is on a consistent level of exercise. Make sure that that horse is, is ready to breeze. Uh, make sure that that, that riding horse doesn't um, overexert itself on a particular day and keep a consistent level of, of or routine of exercise. Uh, some people advocate using some drugs such as dantrolene or acetylpromazine to potentially prevent episodes also. Changing the diet may help. You want to increase the fat and decrease the carbohydrate load. Feed a mixed hay, uh, not a straight alfalfa hay. These are some things that, that may help prevent future episodes. There's also some genetic components that can contribute to tying up. One of those is called polysaccharide storage myopathy. This disease can be seen in thoroughbreds, but it's certainly more common in draft horses, warm bloods, or quarter horses. But, but certainly has been reported in a few thoroughbreds. Also, recurrent exertional rhabdomyolysis is a genetic uh, disease or component that can cause tying up in the thoroughbred. 
and these horses typically have recurrent, as the disease, as the name implies, recurrent episodes of tying up despite all these, all the proper management, uh, the horse not being overexerted, the horse being on a, on a routine level of exercise, these horses still um, exhibit these clinical signs. These can be difficult to manage, but again, the same prevention strategies. Uh, people advocate dantrolene potentially, also increasing the fat, decreasing the uh, carbohydrate load in the horse's diet.